right, hello, hello. Uh, one more round, I know we did it twice before for the two Titans that I know personally. Luke and Chuck. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I have a New York story for you. The uh, first time I went to New York, I uh, murdered two people. Let me explain. The year is 1989. I am seven years old. Duck Hunt has captured America's heart. For, the, for those not familiar, the old Nintendo games when there were like three dots on the screen and it was, you play the game yellow, green, red, you pointed this controller, which was a gun, at the screen and you murdered ducks all day long. And a, and a dog would either reward you or shame you, but anyways. <laughs> So it's 1989, I'm seven years old. My aunt studies sociology in Harlem. We go to visit her. Now, is anybody here familiar with New York lingo? Because one block does not mean one block. A block walking to a New Yorker is about, I'd say about 15 miles. Um, <laughs> So we walked, and when we got into the city, we were going to meet my aunt as she ended her shift at a hospital. She uh, was not uh, any kind of medical staff. She had volunteered for that um, No One Dies Alone program to hold the hands of uh, cancer and AIDS terminal or those who are to be terminal. Um, so we go to meet her at the end of the shift, and she's not quite done yet. So. I, in my seven-year-old mind, passed the time by shooting ducks, which just happened to be orderlies, doctors, nurses, anybody passing by. And this one old man who came walking up behind, beside me in a walker, you know, just traipsing along, I go, Phew. and this man grabs his heart and falls to the wall, and he, he strikes the wall, and I, I, I thought, oh my god. Like, in a seven-year-old's mind, it's like, I know that didn't do it, but I also know you don't scare old sick people. <laughs> so I, I ran. I ran to the elevator, and I started hitting the button. I was like, the elevator cannot get here. And then the old guy down the hall, he just smiles. He's like, eh, gotcha. Oh <laughs> so that was the first victim. The second victim came as we left. Seeing how one block is not one block to a New Yorker, when my aunt said that the uh, Natural Hist History Museum was 14 blocks away, we hailed a cab. <laughs> now in the cab, after I had calmed down in my seven-year-old mind, things started to look like duck hunt again. So I'm, you know, we're driving by, oh, there's a biker. You know, there's a pedestrian. We stop at a stoplight, there's a taxi driver. The taxi driver looks over at me and sees me fire a blank at him. He goes, <laughs> and he falls over. I can't see him. I'm like, oh my god, it happened twice. <laughs> that one wasn't so traumatic seeing how the elderly man survived my first assault. So you know, that, that, that's the two deaths. But you know, this story has kind of a happy ending because after we went to the um, at the, the National History Museum, you know, full of dinosaurs, which were close to my heart at the time. We, uh, if you don't know the building, there's a sub, the subway goes right into it, or at least it did at the time. I haven't been really back to it since that time, but we took the subway out, and uh, on the subway, I sat there with me and my older brother and younger brother, and my mother and my aunt, and uh, across from us was a Spanish couple. And they were huddled together, and to this day, I like to believe that they were young lovers, you know, in the city, you know, all the lights ablaze. They're cuddled together, speaking their secret romantic language to each other, just whispering all close. And I, I was listening intently, and I looked up at my mom. I tugged her, tugged on her shirt. I go, blah, 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 blah. that's what I heard as Spanish as a seven-year-old. My mom, mortified, grabbed me by the head and tucked me under her armpit. The couple heard us, and they just smiled. 
and they went away into the night as we did and in the end I knew my lesson so I, I haven't shot at ducks since so thank you.